Good day, everyone. We had a pleasant day. And here is our news for today. Myanmar begins COVID-19 vaccination to health workers and medical volunteers. Myanmar starts COVID-19 vaccination program with healthcare workers and medical volunteers, the first to receive shots of the AstraZeneca and Oxford University vaccine donated by the neighboring India. The Southeast Asian country manages to contain the number of COVID-19 cases, but is now fighting a second wave, recording more than 138,000 cases and 3,082 deaths. Myanmar receives 1.5 million doses of the vaccine manufactured by the Serum Institute of India amid a diplomatic drive by New Delhi to supply neighboring countries as regional rival China has also pledged a vaccine consignment. <laughs> We are so tired of this long fight. We are confident and happy for this vaccine. The health ministry says Myanmar's fragile health care system rely heavily on volunteers to assist during the pandemic. The next group of people due to be inoculated will be members of parliament. Myanmar has an ambitious target to vaccinate the whole country this year. Families sprinkles flower into the sea and prays to victims of Sri Wicca Air Flight 182. Relatives of victims of the Sri Wicca airplane crash pay their final respects to their beloved family. The family members are taken to the site of the crash just off the coast of the Indonesia capital of Jakarta by an Indonesian naval ship where they scatter flower petals into the sea and held prayers. Ya, terus terang saat menabur bunga itu wajah kakak itu terbayang. To be honest, I remember my brother's face when I'm scattering the flowers and tears kept flowing, as if his face was reflected on the ocean surface. We are feeling hurt and sad now. Sriwijaya Air says it will compensate victim families 1.25 billion Indonesian rupiah or $89,000 per passenger who died. Indonesian Transport Minister Budi Karya Sumari announced in a visit to port. Ya, tentunya kami sedih dan turut kehilangan, Pak. Ya, itu tidak... It can't be denied that we are also deeply sad. We also lost our members of our family from the Sriwijaya Air Group. Supaya semua korban dapat segera teridentifikasi secepatnya. Indonesian authorities halted the search for victims of the crash, but say the hunt will continue for the Sriwijaya Air Jet's cockpit voice recorder in a bid to get more information on the final moments of the doomed flight. Thank you. The country's air accident investigator is probing whether a problem with the auto throttle system that controls engine power automatically contributed to the Sriwijaya air crash. Indonesia's volcano erupts on Java Island, but there are no casualties. Official says Indonesia's Mount Merapi volcano on Java Island erupts, sending up a cloud of ash and prompting authorities to warn of the risk of lava flows reaching roads. Video posts on Instagram show people watching the volcano shroud in smoke and ash. The 2,963-meter-high Merapi is one of the Indonesia's most active volcanoes and is already on the country's second-highest alert level. The local disaster mitigation agency says there are no immediate reports of damage, but some residents choose to leave their homes. Indonesia's Volcanology and Geological Hazards Mitigation Center warns of the danger of lava-cutting roads near the volcano, saying Merapi had spewed quite intense, hot clouds at least 30 times. Indonesia has more volcanoes than any other country, and Merapi violently erupted in 2010, killing more than 350 people. WHO issues the world fresh clinical advice to treat COVID-19 patients.
The World Health Organization issues fresh clinical advice for treating COVID-19 patients, including those displaying persistent symptoms after recovery, and also say it advises using low-dose anticoagulants to prevent blood clots. Uh, the other things in the guidance that are new are that people, COVID-19 patients at home, should have the use of um, pulse oximetry, that's measuring the oxygen levels, so that you can identify whether somebody who is at home is actually deteriorating and will, will benefit, would be better off having hospital care. The World Health Organization advises clinicians to put patients into a wake-prone position on their front, shown to improve the oxygen flow. Also, we recommend the use of, um, we suggest the use of low-dose anticoagulants for pre preventing blood clots forming in blood vessels. We suggest the use of lower dose rather than higher doses because higher doses may lead to other problems. She adds that a WHO-led team of independent experts, currently in the central Chinese city of Wuhan, where the first human cases were detected in December 2019, is due to leave quarantine in the next two days to pursue its works with Chinese researchers on the virus origins. She declines to comment on reports of delay in rollout of vaccines in the European Union. She stresses she had no specific data and the WHO's priority was for health workers in all countries to be vaccinated in the first 100 days of the year. AstraZeneca, which developed its shot with Oxford University, it could not meet agreed supply targets up to the end of March. Singapore held conference with health protocols to prepare to host the World Economic Forum. As Singapore prepares to host the World Economic Forum's Davos in Asia, a series of smaller meticulously planned conferences provide a glimpse into the future of events hosting in this global business hub. Thermal scanners, rapid COVID-19 tests, social distancing enforcers, and segregated seating are now the norm for a clutch of businesses meeting in the city-state has held in the recent months. Singapore Perspective 2021, a forum which discusses political and economic issues held at the iconic Marina Bay Sands. The forum boasted around 250 participants, all of whom are required to undergo rapid COVID-19 tests at registration. Then, after passing an army of safety officers, checking mandatory masks were fitted and social distancing rules adhered to participants found their way to the conference venue. I can actually say that after today, I'm pretty confident that 250, if my director to say the next round is 500, um, if I can find a venue, which I think we can do here because 250, I noticed they have used up only half the big, big ballroom. So if 500, they, use the, they open up the whole ballroom. I think that should not be a problem with us. So um, I think Singapore is just gearing up. Um, I understand there are lots, uh, they are allowing quite a number of 200 PAX conference, 250 PAX conference. And this is really a very, it's a learning curve for us here. Yeah. The word for it is surreal. It's been quite a surreal experience. I don't think you usually get tested before entering a conference. Um, and the distancing, and I think just the way that the food has been prepared is all, all quite different from what it was before. Hosts its annual meeting of global political and business leaders, source tells Reuters, Davos organizers are also targeting Marina Bay Sands, which has conference facilities for over 45,000 delegates and a hotel, casino and restaurants. Singapore's borders still largely closed and the pandemic raging across the world, there remains much uncertainty over those plans. But the Southeast Asian island tentative restart of smaller, local conferences offers a glimpse into what foreign attendees might expect. That's which has also added a huge amount of cost. Pakistan begins vaccinating frontline health workers uses to vaccines from China. A government minister says Pakistan will launch its COVID-19 vaccination drive this week, starting with frontline health workers. We have the vaccination. We will have the health department from the health department. We'll get the vaccine here at the South District from the Health Ministry. And according to the World Health Organization rules, we will administer it to health workers first. The standard operating procedures are being decided, such as how and the quantity of the vaccines will be provided by the Health Ministry. 
हैं वो क्या देते हैं बरल हमारी तरफ से गवर्नमेंट ऑफ सिंध की तरफ से वैक्सीनेशन के लिए हर तरह की तैयारी कंप्लीट है Health care workers are making the final touches to converting the Khalid Dina Hall and library building in Karachi into a mass vaccination center. A health official told Reuters the center plans to vaccinate 15 people at a time. Pakistan so far approved two vaccines for emergency use, one made by China National Pharmaceutical Group and other by AstraZeneca. Official says Russia's Sputnik V vaccine is also likely to get similar approval. He adds that the authorization will be reviewed quarterly with regards to safety, efficacy and quality. Pakistan reports 1,563 new coronavirus infections and 74 deaths in the last 24-hour period, taking the total number of cases to more than 537,477 with 11,450 deaths. China hopes that the new U.S. government can demonstrate rationality, sincerity in bilateral relations. Chinese ambassador to the United States, Chui Tiankai, during an interview with China Central Television says that China hopes that the new United States administration can show not only patience, but also rationality and sincerity in China and United States relations. In his inaugural speech on January 20, United States President Joe Biden highlighted the need for unity as well as outlined the country's challenges. Chu adds, China needs to both listen to the words and watch the deeds of the new United States administration. The future of China and United States relation ties in the policies adopted by the Biden administration. Regarding China and United States relations, White House spokesperson Jen Psaki says, Biden wants to approach relations with Beijing with strategic patience. Patience is of course a good thing. I hope the United States can use this time to review and reflect on each China policy in recent years. Then I hope they apply more active, constructive and forward-looking policies, which are also in line with the reality of the world today. The ambassador also called on the United States to understand China and view bilateral ties objectively with not only patience but rationality and sincerity. Besides, I think patience is not enough. They also need to show rationality and sincerity. He basically defined China in United States relations. So, I hope United States can use its patience to properly and objectively learn about China, about the current world and China-U.S. ties. Vietnam reports first two cases of local transmission of the coronavirus within 55 days. Vietnam confirms first outbreak of the coronavirus in nearly two months and warns it could be more serious than last wave of infections as authorities rush us to contain the spread and test tens of thousands of people. The Health Ministry reports two locally transmitted cases, the country's first in 55 days, before announcing that a further 81 infections were detected. The total 83 cases are now recorded daily for Vietnam, which has effectively closed its borders and avoided the larger epidemic seen by its neighbors. The outbreaks are in Hai Duong and Quang Ni provinces near the capital Hanoi. A village and an electronics factory are locked down, with 2,340 workers quarantined in Hai Duong and huge contact tracing efforts launch. Containment efforts could be complicated by an upcoming Lunar New Year holiday period when big gatherings indoors are typical. Before the current outbreak, Vietnam had recorded over 1,550 cases and 35 deaths since the virus was first detected. Thailand Temple holds ritual in hopes of getting a new normal life. In a temple on the outskirts of Bangkok, participants at the daily ritual clutch a bunch of flowers and lie down in the coffin with a sheet, pull over them as monks chant. The Wat Bang Nai Temple in the Thailand capital draws more than 100 people a day who choose to perform the ceremony in the hope it can improve their fortunes or give them a fresh start. The pressures of life during the pandemic make the ritual take on more importance. 
I have to admit that I'm stressed these days because I'm earning less income because of the pandemic. And I'm sure everyone here is feeling the same. Participants pay 100 baht or $3.30 for the flowers, candles, and clothing that are part of the ceremony. They follow the instructions of the monks by at first laying in a coffin with their heads facing to the west, the direction bodies may be buried, before switching sides to symbolize rebirth. I felt like I was reborn, came back to life again, and I became a new person. Another participant at the ceremony, Chonlatit Nimi Myon 23, said she attended because a fortune teller told her that her life was in danger. I go to see a fortune teller who said my life is threatened this year. It makes me feel stressed. That's why I'm here today, because I want to feel better. Many temples in Thailand hold similar ceremonies, and Praku Prapat Waranukic, a monk who performed this ceremony, said that while the ritual had received some criticism online, he felt it was important to ponder death. It reminds people that one day we will die, so we must be careful about the way we live our lives. Singapore Zoo shows off the first lion cub born from artificial insemination. A wildlife park in Singapore releases photos and video footage of its first lion cap born from an artificial insemination. Simbo was born on October 23, 2020, after a team at Wildlife Reserves Singapore successfully impregnated its mother Kyla in July. The father Mufasa, however, did not survive the electro-ejaculation procedure used last January used to extract salmon. <laughs> According to the park, Mufasa did not sire any cubs in his lifetime because of his aggressive behavior, discouraging successful pairing with any females. Wildlife Reserve Singapore says Kyla was unable to feed her cub properly and staff are assisting with bottle feeding, but Simba is growing and is healthy. The mother and son have yet to be introduced to the rest of the family. The University of Pretoria, which led the procedure, says a lioness in South Africa gave birth to the world's first lion cubs born through an artificial insemination in September 2019. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, please wash your hands and continue to maintain social distancing rule. Do not forget to use your mask. Bye.